If you've been spring cleaning and now you have a pile of stuff to get rid of, a yard sale's not always your best bet. You'll get more money if you target what you sell to the customers who want it. Here are some tips to make top dollar. Mount Lebanon mom Kristen Palumbo has a garage full of stuff to sell, but is having a hard time getting started. Where do you take it and then... You know, there are so many things everyone's trying to sell. Is it online or do you take it to a store? We came to help, starting with where to sell musical instruments. This is my daughter, Juliette's violin, and she's in ninth grade and decided she was no longer going to play violin. So we were interested in selling it. Music supply stores often take instruments, either buying them or selling them on consignment. We took Kristen to Johnston Buzz Music Center, which has three locations in our area, hoping to recoup some of the $1,000 her family paid for this violin. I'm hoping for around $700. I would hope. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I would hope so. <laughs> the next week, Johnston Boz called to say they would put her violin on consignment, suggesting a price of six to nine hundred dollars, and they take twenty percent, meaning Kristen could get close to what she wanted if it sells. Many people know local consignment stores are a great place to sell clothes. You usually get 50% of the sale price. We're here at Savvy Fox in Mount Lebanon where I sell a lot of my own clothes. But a lot of people don't realize you can also sell furniture at a consignment store. If you don't want to sell your furniture direct on something like Craigslist or the classifieds, local consignment stores are the way to go. We took the chandelier to Savvy Fox and they're selling it on consignment. It was in my daughter's room, and she's just grown out of it, so I would like to sell this one. If you have books to sell like I did, first find out how much they're worth on the website Book Scouters. Type in the ISBN number, and it lists the going price. Most paperback books like mine are worth less than a dollar, so you're better off donating. But you can sell recent college textbooks and popular hardcover books for a fair price on Amazon, either as a third-party seller or through the trade-in program. If you have electronics you no longer use, there are several ways to sell them. Amazon and many retailers will buy back some devices, and you can sell them on Craigslist, eBay, and Declutter. But be sure you've wiped the hard drive of any personal information first. And if you have sports equipment you want to get rid of, check out Play It Again Sports. They have locations in Greensburg and Wheeling. They'll buy from you or sell on consignment. Everything from kids' sports equipment to exercise equipment like treadmills to adult golf clubs. And you can sell kids' sports equipment and just about anything for kids at the Just Between Friends consignment events that happen every spring and fall at locations all around our region. I sell a lot of my kids' clothes and toys there and regularly make a couple hundred dollars on it. Now a few other tips. If the idea of selling something on Craigslist makes you nervous, several local police departments, including the city of Pittsburgh, now have safe trade meeting places right outside their departments. Also, the neighborhood Facebook groups and the website Nextdoor are connecting people who live near each other to sell all kinds of things from furniture to clothes to services. And we have links to all these suggestions on our website under links and numbers. Good info. And you said you've tried some of these Savvy Fox for one. Yeah, well, I cleaned out my attic recently, so I have a lot of stuff to sell, including electronics, and I already sell clothes and those kind of things. Now, the electronics and some of the books, it, it takes time. You know, if you want to sell something, plan to put in a little time, mm -hmm. whether it's on Amazon trade-in or on the third party. You know, there's pluses and minuses to all of those. So it does take a little time. I don't want people to think it's totally free and easy. Right. So, you know, the more time you put in, and sometimes the more money you get back. If it's an old cell phone for 10 years, what's another few weeks or a couple well, months and to I'll unload be honest, it, right? If it's old, it's going to be hard to sell yeah. things like books or even electronics. The newer it is, the more money you're going right. to get. Okay, good stuff. Thanks, Christine.